Dear colleagues, this is a routine FECO emulsification. This is the main incision. I make the main incision with this uh, keratom 2.8 millimeter keratom. Then I inject viscoelastic substance in the entry chamber through the main incision. I have sprayed a bit of visco over the epithelial surface of the cornea. In this case, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are usually two and a half clock hours away from the main incision. Now incise the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens with the 26 gauge bent needle like this and make a capsular tag. I hold this tag with a uterta forceps and in a very controlled way I move anticlockwise. But here in this case the erexis tended to go at around 2 o'clock tended to go to the periphery I could retrieve it easily and complete the CCC that is continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now I do hydro dissection. This is how I do hydro dissection. A bit of fluid is injected underneath the anterior capsular rim and we can see that the fluid moves from one side to the other side. In this case, one equator tended to prolapse out of the capsular bag. I depressed that and sent it back into the capsular bag. I want to chop this nucleus in the capsular bag and I don't want to do the lens tilt technique because the cataract is can be chopped easily in this case. It is about nucleus sclerosis is about grade 3. Here it is. I go bevel down, clean a bit of what now in this case I have I'm going to do direct chop. I go directly into the substance of the nucleus after one or two chops and then I divide the nucleus into two halves. This is one hemineucleus. It is again being divided into two parts. That's it. The FECO power in this case is not much. It is about 55 and flow rate is 50 and vacuum is, four, vacuum is 500 in this case. So nowadays I am using 50 ml flow rate and 500 vacuum in many cases. And now I am going to use bimanual IA to clean the cortical matter in this case. Here it is. The irrigation is through the right side port and the aspirating probe is through the left side port and in a very short time everything comes off. Now with the help of the irrigating probe only I can polish the posterior capsule. A little bit of cortex is there at 2 o'clock. I go again and remove that. That's it. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens and placing it in the capsular bag under irrigating fluid. Yes. And since there is no viscoelastic substance, only little bit was there in the lumen of the cut and it comes out very fast, very easily. So we can do first surgery if we can implant the eye well under irrigation. About two minutes time is saved. Thank you very much for watching. Now the only thing I have to do is to form the anterior chamber nicely. And before form, this is how I clean the visco from the corneal endothelium. The jet of fluid goes directly towards the corneal endothelium and gently hits the corneal endothelium and the visco gets dislodged and comes out. This is how I form the anterior chamber and conclude the case. So this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.